Are we in a situation where there may be a preference, just as a scientist looking at this bigger picture, that the innate immunity may be the more important immunity right now compared to the naturally acquired immunity for these reasons? Yeah, well, certainly for, uh, certainly for, uh, for this type of, uh, of uh, disease, uh, because as I was saying, it's not, uh, it's not a, a childhood uh, disease. And typically, um, the innate immunity is, is more than sufficient. And in, in fact, the acquired immunity, as you were saying, is only very important if you have uh, a situation where the innate immunity is not really sufficient. I wanted to make a small correction to what you say. The vaccinal antibodies, they can also, of course, and neutralize. The problem is that the neutralizing capacity is, of course, not so good because the vaccine that we are using is pretty different, the S protein, from the S protein in the circulating, in the circulating um, strain. The big advantage of the natural infection, you get immediately the update. You get infected by the most relevant variant that is circulating, so you get immediately that update and secondarily, it primes in a much more efficient way so that the diversity of variants that it will recognize, that your immune response will recognize, is larger than the one that got induced by, uh, by the vaccines. So that are the two major advantages, right? Okay. I don't want to make things complicated, but it is somewhere a kind of innate response that is between the purely pre-existing that has no memories broadly protective and cross-protective, and the one that is the acquired, that is very specific and has memory. You have something in between, and all this is documented. These are kind of like innate antibodies that have already some kind of maturation, not really uh, memory, that are a little bit more narrow in what they recognize. And these people who keep in good shape, etc., they do have this kind of innate, trained, trained immunity. And you will see, and I, I tell you, and everybody can write this down, the immunity will become, of the unvaccinated, will become better and better, thanks to training. They are continuously confronted with the virus. And so what you will see, and you can already see this in the graphs that are published by, uh, by the uh, Public Health England, in the vaccinees, the efficacy or the, the, number, the number of the infected and diseased people remains more or less the same. But what you see is that in the non-vaccinated, the number of infected people becomes lower and lower. And because the infection diminishes, because what I'm saying, innate immunity, whether it is strained or pre-existing, is sterilizing immunity. So because it gets strained, you get less and less, fewer and fewer infections in the unvaccinated. If you get fewer and fewer infections, you get, of course, fewer and fewer disease cases. And you see the number of disease cases in the unvaccinated going down. And what will happen is that, and that, that of course, also applies to children. What you will see with the children is that even though we continue the mass vaccination, you will see that there trained immunity, their innate immunity is, got, is, is going to be more and more better and better trained. So guess what? These experts who don't understand anything about the evolutionary dynamics of the pandemics are saying, yes, we have low cases, disease cases for the kids, but we need to vaccinate them because look, we have a tremendous impact on transmission, right? Of course, as these young people get the innate immunity more and more trained. These antibodies now can be less well outcompeted by the short-lived antibodies. And you simply go to the publication of Public Health England. You can see, Del, uh, on the, the left panel, the, the vaccinees are the, the black columns. Yes. And the non-vaccinated are the gray columns. Great. Okay, the first three columns, it's under 39, you see, an effect of the vaccine on infection, Del. Okay? Yep. The vaccinees, there, there are fewer vaccinees infected right. 
than non-vaccinated. Right. People under the age of 30 or 40 even, the vaccine has a dramatic effect on the reduction of transmission. Then I would say, wait a minute. If I'm going to wait for like one month, then these people, their innate in immunity must have gotten trained a lot better because the virus is circulating all the time. And then you, you look at the graph at the right panel. What happened? So now in the age group, 30 to 39, it's already the unvaccinated that got less infected. And in the other group, uh, 18 to 29, it's more or less the same. There is, uh, there is a little still advantage of the vaccines. And still in those who are very inexperienced in terms of antigen encounter and uh, maturation of their innate immune system. So the youngest children, there, there is still a major advantage of, of uh, being vaccinated. But I tell you, if you are going to look at this column the, under the, the age of 18, you will see in one or two months from now that also there it will dramatically decrease and it will maybe even be at the favor or at the advantage of the unvaccinated because even those young children or young people will now get trained more and more and will be capable thanks to their trained innate immunity to have sterilizing immunity and eliminate uh, the virus. If we are now going to vaccinate these people, what we are going to do is that we will take away this capacity of sterilizing immune immunity. Then we leave a population that nobody can steri sterilize. Yeah, we, we can completely forget about, about herd immunity. Can you imagine what this means if you are now going to suppress this innate immunity on a permanent basis? Because that is exactly what you will do if you immunize them, if you prime them, right? Secondly, they are a breeding ground for the most more infectious. So this is just going to speed up, to speed up the resistance. And third, when the resistance comes, I mean, these people will have their innate antibodies completely suppressed and their uh, acquired antibodies through vaccination are completely worthless. Can you imagine what that means for individual health and for a population health? This is just going to be a major disaster. And Dell, nobody can explain this. I'm explaining you what is happening there. And you know, nobody cares, nobody interprets this. Uh, this is just, you know, for me, this is unbelievable, unbelievable.